Well, here's the difference between production trailer and we're going to build one in the barn. I used to build a lot of these trailers. I had it all rolled up. I could knock one of these out in a couple hours. Uh, not anymore. Because um, I'm changing up as I go. So here's our tongue all mocked up. It's just all clamped together. We got the A-frame coupler here, so that holds it all in place. You can see with the uh, clamps, it's holding up and down, back and forth, and they're centered up. Uh, but I'm going to do a little bit of a wrap tongue on the back. So I've made these eight feet long. And I don't know if it shows up right here, but this is where I'm going to have to make my notch so that the tongue will bend around and follow the lines of the trailer on back, uh, obviously both sides. Um, if I did my math correctly, I have to take out five eighths of an inch on my notch. So uh, what is that math? You know, pi times 20, 22 divided by square. No, I don't know. I, I hold uh, a board up there and I take a square off of it and I make my mark where it needs to be and I see how many inches that is and I, and I make the notch. Uh, keep it simple. So uh, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna notch out the tongue. We're gonna take all this back apart. Um, I've got my Milwaukee. Not all of these little Milwaukee tools. So this is a little Milwaukee cordless. It's made for cutting steel. I got a steel cutting blade in there, and I'm just gonna lay these flat and uh, and uh, I'll cut this straight across to cut my notch out. And uh, I might take it to the bandsaw just so I got it perfect all the way across to both sides. And then work my notch off of that with the uh, with the steel saw there. Uh, then we mock it all back up. We uh, set it on the trailer, make sure it works the way I, I anticipate it will. And, uh, and we start tacking stuff together. Obviously, there's my coupler. We've got an A-frame jack for it. And here's a bottom plate that'll actually go in here when all that stuff's not in the way. And this is this will support the jack all the way through, so your jack doesn't fold up on you because you know that's a lot going on with the little jack. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this up apart and uh, take it to the bandsaw to make those straight cuts. Then I'll come back in here and lay them fat, and I'll, and I'll cut the notches with the Milwaukee, and we'll mock it up on the trailer. And if it all fits the way I think it's going to, I'll burn it on there. All right, we'll be back. <clears throat> okay, we've got this set up in the bandsaw. We're only gonna make a cut down through the middle, the center of my notch. But it's important because this is a, this has got to be a perfect square cut across here. So, because when this bends on the tongue of the trailer, we can't have it cattywampus. It'll twist the steel. So we're going to make our one cut sideways here, and then we're going to work off of that cut for our notch. That way, I know I'm in the middle. My, my metal will bend straight. It's not going to be twisted on me. It all works out. So this is, we're obviously not going to cut this all the way through, we're only going to cut to where it touches the metal here. And we'll back it out, we'll cut the other one. We're going to cut the notches with the Milwaukee. Oh, that'll do a good job back in the day, we didn't even use a cutting torch, but I don't have one on handy right now. So you make do with what you got. Here we go, we're making a tongue. There we are, ready to cut. I was talking all proud about my Milwaukee saw that cuts steel. Well... I just went to set it up and cut the angle and well it's not adjustable for angles so we're gonna have to freehand this one I think I can do it we'll set the blade depth a little deep and keep an eye on it uh, you can see how it cuts and I've marked center cut all the way across in the bandsaw so my center will stay true that's one thing you just don't want to mess up you can always come back with a grinder you can doctor up them angles if you have to but your center has got to stay your center that's that's important so I got my safety glasses Let's get after it. Let's, uh, let's cut some notches. Well, not half bad. Luckily, uh, <laughs> they're not bad. We'll see how it fits on the trailer. Well, we'll knock them together. We'll grind around the edges. And don't forget, after we get all this together, this will all be welded up. So what isn't there will we'll be there. But I think it's going to fit pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with that. Got the hang of it. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to sweep up some of the stuff just so I don't kneel in it. And then uh, we'll get it mocked up. We'll get it laid out, and we'll see how it works. I think, uh, I think it's going to be good. Okay, everything's in place. 
I've tacked the back half, just a couple small tacks, so it would stay true to the frame. Still got the clamps there, they're just small tacks. The front coupler's all tacked in place. And you can see up on top here, these two angles don't meet perfect, but down there they almost do, and that's just the little imperfections in the metal, a little twist here, there, or the other. So this, now, we're gonna weld this tongue on. This is the most important part of this trailer, this single axle trailer. If we don't get this right, it goes down the road sideways. So we already know all of our spring hangers are all welded true, 100% square with the trailer. These are a, you know, a set distance from the corners. The trailer body is all squared up. We've done all that. So what we've got to do now is we're going to measure from our front hanger, not the back, because the back, that's on a, on a swivel, on a shackle. And it could, it could vary, although I got them all exact. But you always measure off the front. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure off that front hanger, it's the same on both sides, however you do it. And you're going to go from there all the way to a center point on your tongue. Okay, in this case I got 146 and 3 eighths inches. And I've already measured it. On the other side I have 146 and 3 eighths inches. So, and that's, you wouldn't believe the little bit that you loosen these clamps and move that left or right, whatever, the tiniest bit will make a difference of a half an inch just in a jiffy. So that's, that's really important that you take the time. You know, if it takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, do it. Uh, this is where it counts, because like I said, if you don't, now your trailer goes down the road sideways. You, you don't want that. Hey, I'm in the middle of the road, but I'm, I'm riding a white line over there. Okay, so uh, I got all this stuff tacked in place. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tack this coupler on here, and then we can weld the uh, chain link on the bottom plate. We can get everything solid where it needs to be. My God, it's starting to look like a trailer now. All right, we're getting there. Um, after this, we'll weld the spring pads on the axles and, uh, and uh, the one more cross member. But it's about time to flip this thing over. And then we'll start uh, bringing up the top rails, welding up. Okay, uh, let's do some welding. Let's do some welding. I'm going to start on that coupler right there. I don't want it to move at all. I want it to stay right where it's at. Yeah, the bottom plate's just there to keep that track from rolling out. It makes it stronger. It's not all that strong all by itself on the three bolts on top. Obviously, we use the jack for a template. Uh, shoot, we can uh, keep our chains are one and two. No, it's one chain. i got to cut these in half and uh, put them on individual links. We'll do that, too. Oh, well, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. There we go. There we go. That's a... Uh, chain link weld that right there with the two with the chain on it Since it's stopping now, I'm going to go ahead and finish welding on the back, and, uh, and then we're, uh, we'll just 
just have to do something in front here. Put the one cross member fitted in around all that. Oh, we're doing good now. We're doing good. It's looking like a trailer. <laughs>